The SSA Farm is an academy-wide sustainability initiative with garden plots on all four Shadyside Academy campuses. The SSA Farm is integrated into the pre-K through 12th grade curriculum and provides interdisciplinary, hands-on learning opportunities for students. I think the goal is really just to kind of have our students have a curiosity for the outdoors and also an appreciation for it. I think the more that you learn about kind of where your food comes from and all the steps that it takes to get to your plate, um, it can really kind of change your mind and open that. Students can sort of get involved anywhere from pre-K through 12th grade. So at the younger grades, it's usually kind of with a teacher and it's usually through a different specific like lesson. Um, but they also can kind of help out during recess and after school. At the middle school, we have an ecology committee, which is kind of similarly runs like the chicken committee, but it's more about plants and growing. So we meet during conference periods for that. Um, and then at the senior school, students are able to take PE Farm, which is a physical education credit, where they're able to come out usually three or four times a week and work outside. CDS has a large U-shaped garden bed where we grow different herbs as well as flowers and some cherry tomatoes. The kind of thought process behind that was that teachers go on kind of nature walks there, so they wanted things that were really easily accessible and all the kids could sort of harvest one thing. Um, at the junior school we do weekly cooking lessons and so the students learn a different letter each week and then we'll kind of try to incorporate produce or eggs into um, the cooking lesson. I think when we first started PE Farm, there was kind of this idea that we'd be like strolling around in the garden eating strawberries. <laughs> and I think after having them kind of come out this semester, they've learned that it can be a lot of hard work and it is a lot of hard work. Um, but I think because of that, it's more rewarding when they actually start to see things and can harvest it and taste things. I originally took it just because I didn't want to take a team sport, but um, I ended up really enjoying it and it really acts as uh, just a nice home uh, away from home so that I'm somewhere where I don't have to like be thinking, oh, there's all this stuff that I have to do. Instead, I'm able to like put that all out of my mind and just focus on farm. One of my favorite things to do is when we collect all the stuff we harvest and then we make, uh, then we do like a picnic uh, and cook stuff from everything that we the Fox Chapel Farmers Market is held on our senior school campus. It runs from June through October, every Wednesday from 3.30 to 6.30. And it's really run as like a community event. We have around 20, 25 vendors, and our farm also has a stand at it. Um, but it's also run as an educational experience because we have different farm interns and market kind of managers um, that are able to sort of learn branding and marketing skills, but also get to meet local producers and learn more about their like local economy. The farm itself is like a really cool thing, right? Like you got chickens here and you got like all the strawberries and stuff. It's just a lot of fun to be there in the morning and just help out with that. What I what draws me back to the farm every time is just the, the, the community. It's it's really, really nice people here. I mean, the vendors here are just super nice. I think the most rewarding part is when you can really see the students getting curious about something and also thinking Think, thinking of real life solutions and how they can kind of take what they learn um, to kind of affect their communities in the future.